Good morning everyone. It is the morning of the Mitsubishi Cup double-handed race today here in Brazil and we are excited to go racing. <laughs> The boat is all set up as best as we can. Uh, the dinghy's off the back, all the canvas is down, the paddleboard's put away, and uh, we're ready to try and make this bus go fast. Somehow, by the grace of God, there is a lot of breeze, and we were expecting no wind, so it should be a fast, fun sailing day with our new friends here in Brazil. So yeah, let's have a great time, a great race, and we'll see you out there on the water. Okay, red buoys, three miles at 215 degrees. So, I'm gonna get a quick uh, wind shot. I'm gonna go to 215 real quick here. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready.
supposed to start? We had such a good start. We began to question our Portuguese skills and whether we started early. But alas, all was well. Sailing in the double-headed class, the course was three miles to an upwind buoy, then a simple downwind finish. Easy enough, right? Just be sure to avoid all the shallows, current, pleasure boaters, cargo ships, and freighters along the way. Downwind boats! Switch me. Okay. Come up here, take the helm. Take this. Got it. Stay up with these guys, pack if you need to, okay? But try not to. He's traveling. He's traveling more. Okay, I need you to poke it up for me to put halyard on, okay? And three, two, one. Good, good. Stack down. Get it off the sheet. 
come around the back. up here, I want to back because I want to give us some time to lay and set up, okay? Alright. Okay, ready? Backing. Three, two, one. Here we go. Slow. Great job, babe. We tacked away from shore, but it was a quick tack back to stay out of the current. Still, the current was pushing us down into another mark, so we traveled up the mainsail to point a little higher and make it over the buoy. There's nothing like a bigger boat with race sails passing you to windward that makes you want to adjust your sail controls a little bit. It lit a little fire under our butts and paid off for boat speed in the end. final approach time, and with the current conditions, we decided we would jibe around the mark, requiring the spinnaker to switch sides. Sweet Ruka is so well balanced that I can leave the wheel for a quick second to make some adjustments.
we plan to do only one jibe to the finish, a challenge double-handed with our reaching kite that is not made to sail well in deep conditions, in an attempt to avoid a wall of starting upwind boats. But things didn't go quite as planned. Jive before them, okay? Okay. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, go down. As Curtis likes to say, win the race, win the party. It was wonderful to be around like-minded racing folks again, and we made some amazing friends along the way. But soon we'll be gearing up for some different sailing towards Cape Horn. A special thank you to all our patrons for making these videos possible. As usual, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. <laughs>